And a story we've covered for months. Are Ohio's drunk driving breath tests accurate? A Hamilton County judge sided with a local man's attorney who says there are serious problems with a machine police use every day to test for OVI. Nine News reporter Janelle Walton is live in the newsroom with what those problems are. Janelle? Carol Brendan, the Intoxilizer 8000 is a portable machine the state of Ohio uses to measure how much alcohol is on someone's breath. A Cincinnati attorney found discrepancies on his client's alcohol test report. A judge agreed the test was flawed, so the results were not admissible in court. Attorney Joe Suri's client was stopped by an Ohio State trooper October 6th of last year and tested for operating a vehicle under the influence. Suri says the Intoxilizer 8000 breath test registered his client's alcohol level at 0 0.176. The legal limit in Ohio is 0 .08 for people 21 and up. Surrey got a copy of the Ohio Department of Health, Alcohol and Drug Testing report. He says he noticed a major problem with the printed results. What we noticed was that there are two subject tests in every DUI investigation where there's a breath test. And in this particular instance, we made a motion to suppress the results because there is no dry gas control between subject test one and subject test two. And that's the same in every case across the state of Ohio. You can see here on the test results where the Intoxilizer 8000 performed the dry gas control, also known as resetting the machine before the first test. However, the dry gas control was not performed before the driver blew into the machine a second time, as is required by the state of Ohio. In the Ohio Administrative Code, it's section 3701-5304B. It requires that uh, uh, dry gas control be performed before and after every subject test. And in this case, in, in all cases, it's not. Surrey says he found the test was also faulty when it came to registering how many sample attempts were taken. His client's test shows it was taken 10 times. In this particular case, there was reported a number of sample attempts, uh, despite the fact that the testimony was uh, either one attempt or they couldn't recall at the, at the hearing. Judge Melissa Powers agreed with Surrey's findings and threw the case out. However, the state of Ohio is appealing the decision. Surrey says if the state loses the appeal, it's possible other OVI cases where the intoxilizer machine was used could be thrown out as well. Carol. Interesting. Thanks, Janelle.